On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Treetop House. nice of you, Owl, but no. No? I'm... I'm going to have tea with... a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? <laughs> he has... knobbly knees. <laughs> Turned out toes <laughs> and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. <laughs> where, where, where are you meeting him? Here, by this stream. <laughs> oh, and his favourite food is owl ice cream. Oh. Owl ice cream. To wit to Goodbye, little mouse. And away Owl flew. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. holding her chalk, telling the class. Sit straight. Don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. The snail! The snail! The teacher turns pale. Look! 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 It's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail, saying... Save the whale! These are the children running from school. <gasps> calling the fireman. Digging a pool. <laughs> squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool.
Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. Huh? <laughs> All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. <laughs> Hi! Hi! Way up in the sky! Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. <gasps> and you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. <laughs> and turns till the frolicking foam washes him up on a beach far from home. Yells the dad. <laughs> An excellent mast. <laughs> Hooray! There's a flag on our castle at last! <laughs> 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 Hey. 
I'm not a mast for a silly old flag. <laughs> or a sword for a knight. <laughs> <laughs> Some ants came crawling along the road, then stopped with a somersault. For baring his teeth was the highway rat, who bellowed a deafening halt! <laughs> Give me your sweets and your lollies. Give me your toffees and chews! <laughs> For I am the rat of the highway. Hey. The highway. Oh, the highway. <laughs> yes, I am the rat of the highway, and nobody dares to refuse. <laughs> The ants replied. We just have this nice green leaf. Oh, no, you don't! Not anymore! declared the highway thief. This leaf is nasty and bitter. This leaf is as thin as can be. But I am the rat of the highway, and this leaf belongs to. Me. No hat could be found. Hmm. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. <laughs> <laughs> He dropped it politely. Then <laughs> eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. I am a dog, as keen as can be. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? cried the witch. The 
and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. They see him perch upon an oak. And listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm's a special treat. He'll be juicy. Fat and firm. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray for Superworm. Quickly! Huh? At the double! Superworm's in frightful trouble! <gasps> we must help him, if we can. We must hatch a cunning plan. The garden creatures leave their home, carrying a honeycomb. Mm. Uh. 